This is going to be a short video to show you how to add a user to your Amazon account. Um, Amazon offers you this opportunity. Uh, other marketplaces such as eBay do not. But you can add a user into your Amazon account that can access parts of your Amazon account and not the entirely. So on eBay, you either give them your password and they can access the whole account or you don't and no one can work on it. On Amazon, you can set user permissions. First step in that is to log in, of course, to Amazon Seller Central, in case you don't recognize the page. This is the home page for your Amazon seller account. Uh, the next step is to hover over settings over here in the upper right corner and slide down to where it says user permissions. As you can see on my account, I have several users on my account that are able to log in and do certain things. To add a new user, I would simply go up here and type in an email address of whoever I wanted to add. And then I would click send the invitation. That person would get an email from Amazon saying, you, Kathy Simpson, you have been invited to become a user on uh, Kathy Simpson's uh, Amazon Seller Central account. Click here to accept. Once that person decided to accept it, which of course you should have told them beforehand to expect the email, they'll get another email from Amazon that contains a confirmation code. And you can see that right here, this confirmation code. So up here is the invited user. I just recently invited Matt, Mark at TaxJar. We have some things we're working on together. So I've sent him an invitation through Amazon. I'm waiting to hear from Mark about the confirmation code he got from Amazon. Once he lets me know, I'll come in here and there'll be a pending user, Mark at TaxJar, with his confirmation code. I'll look at the email that Mark sent me that has the confirmation code in it and I'll make sure that the confirmation code he sent me is the same one that's listed right here and I will click add over here. Okay, now once I've done that, Mark will become a user on my Amazon account. The interesting thing is you're not done yet because uh, everyone thinks that once they've added a user that they're done, but you have to add user permissions or you've added a user and there's nothing they can do. Once you add someone as a user, when they, they'll use, tell them to use the same email address they use on their Amazon account. And then when they log into Amazon, all of the different accounts that they are allowed to log into will be up in here. And I'll show you just as a sample. This is one of my clients' accounts that I do some work on. And when I log into Amazon Seller Central, this is what I see with him. Okay, so then when they add them, when you add them to your Amazon Seller Central account and they log in, they'll have a drop down menu here that will have their account and your account. Make sure they're working on the right account. So to add the edit permissions, you can simply go to the edit button or if you're, if you're done with that particular job, say you hired a VA to do a specific job and they're finished, you can delete them right here and know that they can no longer get into your Amazon account. I'll do other videos uh, next of showing you how to edit the user permissions and what permissions they need to have. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to visit thatcat.com and sign up for my newsletter. Bye-bye.